So we are entering an area not for the faint of heart. Old Town Mombasa. I think it looks cool. So. So I've noticed in the CBD it's blue and white, the buildings. The buildings in the, in the town. Yeah. It's blue and white, but all up in here they should be. <laughs> you want to be friends with them about it? We like you. I have to be friends with every man who gives me a flower. Oh. I will have too many friends. Oh man, you're, she's popular. <laughs> Let's see who's more. Po let's see who's more popular in Old Town, Roberto or Natalia. I don't think it's gonna be us. Yeah. I think they're the more popular ones. So these were all built by the Brits. Uh, some the Brits, some the Romans, some the Portuguese. The Brits with the wooden buttons. Yeah, and that's now the first African chair from 1901. Uh, right now it was turned to uh, high school. So it's a school. Oh, it's cool. yeah. That's part of it. Then this is the natural now, old town. I have to live in there like that? Yeah, it's an antique itself. So if you want it, it's yours. Mm -hmm. It's bits How in it. Much? You're used to it. In Rome they have <laughs> buildings that they can't change. You can just get one here too. We have friends. Ooh, what is this? Gallery. That's a gallery. Yeah. Hello. 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 Buongiorno. Okay. Got you. Your favorite cat. No. Mombasa has a little bunch of cats everywhere. Yeah, there are so many around here because we are heading to the fish market. Yeah. yeah. So people look at the hours. So they are from Balochistan. It was the first Pangasan hospital. Mm. Yeah. So it was coming down to ruins, but the government made the renovation. Okay. So they dropped the other one down and then they started building this one. Okay. Then this one is the first casino. Oh, wow. So let's go gamble. <laughs> Who's got cash to spare? Not me. You sure? You've got that uh, UN Sudan money. Yeah, Sudan money. He's basically Sudanese now. No. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see the balconies. This is the front part. Boat shallow. Yeah, shallow He's a great guy. <laughs> <Not enough. laughs> He's not such a great guy. <laughs> Don't vote shallow, vote for the other guy. <laughs> and I have a loud voice. It's a problem. Oh my god! Uh, Mm -hmm. That's where the Omani captain used to live. Okay. Uh, before he took over for Jesus. That is a healthy chicken. Yeah, very healthy. Look at that. <laughs> so, first Portuguese church in Kenya. If we were here, if we were from Kenya, from Mombasa, we might have been Christian. That first Portuguese church in. Kenya, or if we were Portuguese in Kenya, you know, I guess. That's why the culture is Arab. And then you have this building over here. The White House. It's the White House. Not to be confused with the American White House. And it's the first U.S. Embassy. Oh, wow, they really uh, gave it a good name then. And this is the first house to be installed with electricity. Okay. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> again, it housed Catholic nuns. None. So it has served many buses purposes. Cool. So we can go inside. We look how inside it looks. Let's do it. The bus is loud this time of year. So this was the first American embassy in Kenya, and now it's a museum. 
Uh, are, are you gonna charge me for this bracelet? Yeah, you can try. You can try. I think you're gonna try. To, I think we're gonna have to give it back. We Where are you? Not much. Not much. Not much. There it is. The truth comes out. Listen, you gotta be. You gotta be uh, firm yeah, when you're when you're when you're when, you're, when people are giving you gifts. Price is a friend, you, know? you gotta be firm when people give you gifts. You buy from the Life is nothing is free. This is the first what? Highway. Highway. Yeah. So it is cool. straight from Fort Jesus all the way up to Nyale Bridge. Woo! So it's all the way a straight. Highway. Cool. These two chicks, Natalia and Roberta, especially Natalia, everywhere we go, going in, trying to get a souvenir, vacuuming out my wallet. What face are they making? Now? What face is Roberta making back there? She's hiding, vacuuming me out. How do we, how do we get home if I'm all va vacuumed out? Vacuumed out. You start paying in nature. Paying nature? In nature. Do you mean the oldest profession? Exactly. And I just realized the worst part. These two girls I'm here with, they don't negotiate the prices. They don't negotiate anything. They're like, he, he's like, here you go. And they're like, yeah, yeah, we'll take it. We'll take it, we'll take it. Meanwhile, I have to come and be like, Whoa, wait a second, wait a second. We gotta sit down here, man. We, we, <laughs> we gotta talk man to man, figure this out. We're inside for Jesus, about to get a history lesson out of this, out of this joint. Yeah. With our awesome tour guide. Yeah. <laughs> so now welcome to the port, and uh, this is the aerial view of the Fort Jesus. By the look, it looks like a human body shape. So it has got the head, the hands, the body, and the legs. The ginger bread. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that's why it is called Fort Jesus. So the people built this place where the Portuguese back in the year 1593 to the year 1596. So back uh, some years and the year 1498 Vasco da Gama was in search for the sea route to India and he happened to use the longest route uh, the Atlantic Ocean all the way Indian Ocean all the way up to Mombasa but in Mombasa he was never welcomed so he set sail uh, 150 kilometers from here northwards that's where we find Malindi and that's where we find the Vasco da Gama people mm. so there he was welcomed by the locals and then he was given one local sailor who took him back to India and uh, he knew the way, so he went back to Portugal. So now he came now the second time, and the second time the, uh, he had only one reason: come and conquer Mombasa, because at first they never welcomed him, and again he saw a good place to build this fort, and they use it as a military base. So there are three groups which use this fort: the first being the Portuguese, they lived there for 105 years. Then later came the Arabs from Omani. they lived there for 198 years, and then later came the British mm. lived here for 67 years, but for the first two groups, they, they used this place as a military base. But the last group, the British, this was the prison. So the British are the ones who colonized us Kenya. So anybody who resisted their period, he or she was brought in here. Yeah? Okay. And uh, for Jesus, I've got four passages. So uh, the first main passage is the main entrance we came through, and the other three lead us directly to the sea. So it was strategically built as a gate. So you know Mombasa is an island, 20 meters above the sea level. Uh, to the north, it's connected to the Kilindi, the Nyali Bridge. Mm -hmm. And then to the south, that's where we use the ferry. And then to the east, that's when we use the causeway to Nairobi. And then to the east, that's Indian Ocean. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's a brief history of the Port Jesus. So we start with the head, the head part, and the tour. So the fort is Ooh. like this. So there are three new buildings uh, built by the British in 1963. So the first is the museum, mm -hmm. okay. and then we have the toilet and we have the offices. They are our curator. Okay. Yeah. So the offices are on the left leg, and uh, for the right hand side, that's the entrance we came through. So after we are done with the tour, you will see it on a bit. Cool. Time to enter Jesus' head. Let's go. I don't know. I think so. Or wine. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. Oh. Wow. So they found a huge rock. The coral rock. <laughs> so if you take a good look from here up, this is the kitchen. It's evident with the three chimneys on top. Two tall ones and one short. And this is the left hand side. 
This tree was planted by His Excellency Mr. Concalo Tales Gomez, the Consulate General of Portugal, in 2015. Sounds like an sounds like a very important guy. Very, very important man. There's so many cannons here. So those are British cannons? Best cannons. Boom. Natalia, what were you saying about museums and whales? They don't usually let you touch the whale. Oh, but look at here. Word for Jesus. Where we can touch the whale. Oh, what a beautiful, magnificent whale. It is. Boom. <laughs> Natalia Dashin has some extremely important things to say about this whale. No, I'm just talking to myself. It's like, it's not what you would expect the whale boss to be. It's, it's way more like, it's like a, but like an encapsulated, in, it doesn't feel like a normal bone. It feels like, like a soft, beautiful bone. It feels like, not like a rock. And also not like a chicken bone, but closer to a chicken bone than a rock. So if you want to come <laughs> and feel a bone that's more like a chicken bone than a rock. But it's not like For Jesus else. in Mombasa in Kenya is the place to go. It's not, it's not like anything. Or your you money never, back guaranteed. Never, Just kidding, that's gone. You never feel like, like feel this spot the right money here. well spent. Feel the spot right Especially here. Especially if you witness this. Feel the spot right here. I think she should be a permanent fixture. Right here. Right there is the spot we're right feeling. Right here, feel that spot. Feels like a bunion. Doesn't it feel like you're touching an alive thing? Feels like I'm touching a whale's bunion. Okay, now we're leaving Old Town Mombasa. Very important, do not come here alone in the evening. Do not, do not. Because there are some hooligans out and about. I think we walk the main road. Tuk -tuk here, this tuk-tuk? Which one? Oh, this one? That's really high-tech. Real high-tech tuk-tuk. No, they do not have that in their too. Not in the door in Dhaka. So, come to Old Town. Just, uh... <laughs> and now we go. Hopefully nobody snatches my camera as we're driving. Where are we going? We are going to the center. We're going to the center of uh, Mombasa. We're going to walk around. I keep hoping that there nobody snatches this camera either. Otherwise, a lot of lost footage. seeing a lot of KFCs around. KFC is as uh, Kenyan as it is American. Here they probably call it Kenyan fried chicken. Bada bada bada. And now we're going to see the famous tusks! Okay. Yeah, around here is pretty good, I think. Ooh, as we drive and we see them. Downtown, Mombasa. How do you guys feel? With these, I'm here with these two gold diggers over here. One, one to my left and one hiding. I'll tell you, you have to be to my right. So they can see, the, so they can... She can the gold digger number two doesn't want a reputation because she's about to get YouTube famous for being the biggest gold digger in Kenya. We're, we're being approached. We gotta be vigilant though. We gotta be very vigilant. Right, Roberta? We're walking around here and it's lovely, but to be honest, there's not that much to do. What is it? Something cool. It is pretty. I have no idea what it is either, but it's something. It's pretty. Alright, we keep going. 
We keep going on our tour of Mombasa before it gets dark and the ghouls come out. We're trying our hardest to find a hustle and bustle area, but it's difficult because we are foreigners in this country. So we gotta figure it out somehow. Maybe we'll ask a tuk tuk driver. Natalia looks concerned. So does Roberta. Hope, I hope they don't get kidnapped. Sometimes if you just tell a tuk tuk driver to go somewhere, you just go there and you have no idea where you end up. And we ended up somewhere. How did I take this down? I don't know. We ended up somewhere here. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> Somewhere. Yes. Trying to find our way back to civilization. Yes. Let's hope we get there. I want to hustle and bustle, we got hustle and bustle. So we went all the way to the port, we got lost, to so we come back to square one. We've seen these those tusks up there like about a hundred times. We've seen those tusks for a hundred times, I think so. Okay, we're very close to sunset. It's time to bounce. Who's all right, we're close to sunset. The ghouls come out after sunset. So, uh, yeah, let's bounce. So we found a lovely spot. We thanks did. to our and, uh, Uber driver called Barca. And it looks very authentic, very legit. You think it'll be good? I hope it'll be good. I'm sure it will be good. We're gonna, we're gonna give an update <laughs> to all the viewers. Of course. To the 30,000 viewers of Shinazi Mansion. You have to mention that every three seconds. <laughs> I do. I'll cut that part out. <laughs> so much for self-promotion. Roberto says everything here is really good. It's amazing. And we got some Cokes it's up so in here. Kenyan, Kenyan Coca-Cola. <laughs> yeah. Roberto, let me try the Oka. Yeah. I need, I need to know. I need to know how good it is. That's fire. Right? Bloody good okra. The okra, the okra at Babka is fire. You can't have it anymore. I can't have it anymore? This well, luckily I can just go over there and get some. There you can. How are the beans? They're good. How's the ciabatta? I haven't tried it yet because I'm waiting for you guys. So. She's so kind. She's waiting for us. Oh, okay. Chin. This, this needs to be a... <laughs> Now we look at Lil Lens plate. Natalia, what did you get? That's liver, right there. That's some peas, that's some spinach, and that's like chicken, chicken pilaf. Pilaf. Mm -hmm. pilaf. The Ruskis say plof. Plof? Yes. Plof. plof, which I think is the same thing as pilaf. That's like I meat, some so. sort of a meat in rice. I think yeah. it sounds the same. I think it's the same. That looks real fire. Natalia, feed me some. Wait, I wanna take another picture. Before it's ruined. The thing about Natalia, she gets these massive portions, and there's no way on earth she's gonna finish it. But maybe it's really good, and she will finish it. I was, I just got some. I, I didn't put it on the plate. Let's see. Let's see how are the. How pieces? is it? It's very tasty. Can I try your piece? Can I try your piece too? Natalia, no. feed me, or I'll feed myself. Mm. I knew I wanted those peas. Now we have a lot. Those are really good peas. How about the spinach? Can I try the spinach? Really tasty spinach. Fuck me up. I'm gonna try this the spinach. spinach too. It all tastes man homemade. Right? It tastes homemade. That's what it is. Everything is so good. Everything is great. Oh, baby, let's go. Phenomenal. The chef is getting a shout out. Delicious. To my uh, measly 260 ish subscribers and not my 30,000 viewers of the Shinatsu Mansion. Okay. I thought I could try the liver. Yes. Hook me up. I gotta say, that's liver? That is, that's the greatest liver I've ever had in my life. That's the greatest liver I've had in my entire life. Okay. Phenomenal. Note to self. Chili in Kenya. 
is not like chili in Wendy's in America. This is actual spicy stuff. It's not like a meat thing that you eat and you're like, yummy. Yeah, I mean, you add that to your... That's also chili? That's also chili. So spicy. Bomb. Oh look, so many bombs getting dropped. <laughs> So chilies make it extra spicy, mm. not the Wendy's chili with cheese. Delicious chili. Delicious chili. And the chili's delicious. My brother, it's so good. I think you should stop talking and start eating. No, you should um, keep talking. I have to listen. So Adios. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, after having tried everything at this restaurant and having gone to multiple restaurants in Mombasa, Kenya over the last few days, this is number one, baby. You gotta come here. This is too good. Everything else is garbage. <laughs> so, is Barker restaurant? Barker. Barker restaurant. Get your butts over here if you're in Mombasa. It's fire. And kids, boys and girls, husbands and wives. This was the damage that's done. How much is that? That's about 20 bucks. Really? Really. Wow. 20, 22 bucks, something like that. Can't beat that.